you know, you can have fun being a ventriloquist, right? This is what I like to do to confuse the sound man in the sound check and make him think the microphone has gone out of sync. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome my friend, Sam. Sam. <laughs> so this is Sam Seller. Hello! Not me, then. Oh, my God, what the heck? Sam, here we are, America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent! Look, 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 who are these people? These are the judges. They're staring, it's rude! They're staring! <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, they're all staring at you. Really? Yeah, they're looking at your mouth. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, they're all looking to see if your mouth is moving. Really? Yes, but you can't tell that way because sometimes his mouth doesn't move. My mouth doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder where the heck is the sound coming from? <laughs> So, um, tonight, tonight, <clears throat> tonight, tonight, would you not talk when I'm talking? Don't worry, you're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, what? Look at the ladies. What? Mel! Hello! Heidi! Hi! Hello! Hello. How about you two ladies coming back to my suitcase? <laughs> that oh, is there. the luggage of love. You know, once you've had puppet, you never go back. Well, <laughs> <laughs> too far. I apologise. Time out. That was too much. Oi, what? You want to come back out? No, I'm going to move on. Please let me come back out, please. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. Look. Look. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Look. Look. Seriously, seriously, stop it. 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 <laughs> You're pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Ooh. <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'd like to put something out to you. I'm a grown man standing here on stage having a conversation with some luggage. <laughs> and you're going for it. <laughs> That's all from me. You've been absolutely lovely. Thank right. you. Good evening. How are you doing? Shh. Why? Not so loud. Baby sleeping. Oh, you brought. Oh, to bring. Oh, you brought. Really you. sorry. I couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> Fantastic last time. Thank you very much. Why are we? Why whispering? Now look what you've done. Oh, sorry, be right with you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey! What? That mirror! What? That mirror's not working! Mirror? That's not a mirror! That, that's Howie! <laughs> <laughs> No, no. So listen, you go to sleep now. I want story. What story? What? I want a story. No, we haven't got time for the story. Story. No, no, we haven't got time. I want a story. Okay, okay. All right, I'm really sorry. If I tell you a quick story, you promise me you go to sleep straight away. Yeah. This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood. Yeah. Shh. She was walking through the woods on the way to her granny's house when all of a sudden out jumped a big bad wolf. Wolf. Yes, a nasty one with big horrible teeth. No, don't like it. No, but it's part of the story. Don't like that. Or... No, but it has to be. Don't like it. Okay. <laughs> change it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll change it. What, what, what do you want me to change it to? Duck. <laughs> the thing is with the story, it won't work as a story if it's a duck. I want a duck. Okay. Okay. It wasn't a big bad wolf. No. It was a big bad um, duck. Duck. Yeah. No, fluffy yellow duck. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood was really frightened. Why?
Well, because she wouldn't be frightened of a fluffy yellow duck, would she? No. Hence, you've done it again and my story doesn't work. You keep doing this to my story. Do not. You keep making me put ducks in them. Duck! They don't work as stories when there are ducks in them. Duck! What about yesterday's? Goldilocks and the three ducks. Duck! Snow White and the seven ducks. Duck! Why do you keep saying duck? <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how exciting it is to be here at live at Radio City. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sam and I have had a bit of an argument and he's not talking. Oh, come on, Sam. Look, this is embarrassing. There's no point me being a, being a ventriloquist if you're not going to talk. Well, you started it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Did, didn't. Did, did. Look, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't talk. Yeah, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't eat. <laughs> Listen, any more from you and I have to get myself a new dummy. Howie, you're wanted. <laughs> right, <laughs> I haven't got time for this. You're going back in the bag. I don't want to. What? I don't want to. I don't care if you don't want to. Get in the bag. I don't want to. I don't want to. Read your lips. <laughs> oh, look! What? There are people up there. Hello! <laughs> are you OK? Jump! Right, too far. What are you doing? No, sorry, that's just too far, Sam. I'm sorry. You're always trying to make me look stupid. Yeah, no, you need help. If you think you can do better on your own, then you're very welcome. I can. Oh, really? Yes, really. OK, well, this I have got to see. All right. Here's your microphone. <laughs> There's the audience. <laughs> and there are the judges. Good luck. And don't get buzzed. Has he gone? <laughs> Look at this, I'm hands free. <laughs> yeah, New York City. It's the judges, the legend that is Mr. Howard Stern. How are you, Howard? I'm good, how are you? I am good, thank you, Howard. I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you been drinking tonight? Absolutely not. No, then why the hell are you talking to a puppet? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Quick, he's coming back. <laughs> See how far you got? Ladies and gentlemen, please do not get caught up in the world of make-believe. He is, after all, only a puppet. <laughs> That's all from me. Good night. Thank you very much, Janine. How many of you here tonight are ready to enter the land of make-believe? Looks like Howie's already in the land of make-believe, which makes you the perfect person to join me up here on stage. Would you mind? Let's hear it for Howie Mandel, everyone. Yes, thank you. In your own time, Howie. I understand your logic. The longer, the longer you take, the shorter my act. I quite understand. Have a seat there, Howie. Tonight, live from Radio City, you are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. OK, now all you have to do... All you have to do is keep looking out there, all right? Let me do all the talking, OK? And I've got to say, that's a pretty good fit. <laughs> By the way, uh, this is Charlie. Are you OK, Charlie? Yes, thank you. First of all, we've got to find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch, something macho. Are you OK? Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, it shocked me. It shocked me? 
I was only joking. Do you want me to change the voice? No, no, I like it. OK. I want to say hello to my fans. You want to say hello to this lot? Yes. Turn to the people on the right, give them a big wave, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Nicely done. Now the people on the left, say hi to them. Hiya. And now the people right up the top, give them a big sexy hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you see them waving back? Yeah, idiots. Now stop touching me! What? Get away! What? Stop touching me! What do you mean I'm not touching? Get away! Okay, all right, all right, is that far enough? Perfect. <laughs> hey, how are you doing that? I've got a little controller in my hand here. Oh, wow, that's amazing. He's got a controller, he can control me. Yes, that's right. Oh, now he can have some fun. I don't want to be a judge. No. I want to be an act. You want to be an act? Yes, you go and judge me. You want me to judge you? Yes, go and sit in my seat. I can't sit in your seat. No, no, I insist. Well, <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> Hello, fellow judges. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. OK, so um, I can't believe I'm a judge on America's Got Talent. So um, what's your name? Well, my name is, um, my name, um, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> My name is Howie. Hello. Good evening, Howie. And what are you going to do for us tonight? Tonight, I want to do my dancing. <laughs> Look, you, you don't have to. No, no, I really want to. Yes. OK, so do you have some moves you'd like to show us? Oh, yes. Let me stand up, first of all. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> OK. First of all, I'd like to stretch. I'm going to do some stretching. I'll just stretch my arms like this. <laughs> and my legs like this. <laughs> OK, so now to business. OK, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you my twerking. <laughs> So, I turn around, I turn around, I put my hands on the seat, and I wiggle my butt. Um, is that it? Oh, yes. Hang on. Let me turn around again. Yes. OK, so that was fantastic. Don't make me laugh, though. I can't make you talk when I laugh. <laughs> so what are you going to do for your performance this evening? Tonight, I'm going to do some Irish dancing. <laughs> really? Naked. <laughs> I, I really don't think this is the show for that. So uh, oh. when you're ready, the stage is yours. Cute. The music. <laughs> oh, Zerny. Awesome job, everyone standing on their feet here in Radio City. Paul, you got them going, man. Heidi's still laughing, still clapping. I take it you liked it. I mean, this was so much fun. My head hurts from laughing so hard. You are super clever and so much fun, and I love seeing Howie as a puppet. And I'm sure he appreciates it that you didn't put your finger up his, you know, who to do it like you usually do with your puppets. No, this was <laughs> hilarious. Thank you, Thank you very much. Melby. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think I've laughed so much and so hard. You're brilliant. You're absolutely brilliant, Paul. It's so Howie. So good. And you know what? <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> Well, Howie, would you like to respond to that? Sometimes people aren't what they look like. I have, 
I have no idea. You humiliated me. Howie, you were... But I hear I was fantastic. You, you, were, you were absolutely, you, you were the perfect dummy. By You're still way, judging, aren't you? By the way, you know, this I have to say, yes, you will be the fifth act of the night to go oh. through. I've been handicapping all night. You are hands down fantastic. You will probably win this entire show. I really mean it. Every time we have seen you, you come out and you surprise us because your puppets are always original each time and the voices are original and you're a master ventriloquist. I love you. Wow. We're running out of time, but to have such an amazing performance, I mean, how does it feel? Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm so excited, I'm so pleased, and, and you know how he had absolutely no idea that was going to happen. His reactions were absolutely genuine, and he did such a great job. Thank you so much, Howie. Howie twerking tonight. Good luck. Okay, America, it's over to you. Only five acts can go into the finals. Who do you want to make it? Voting closes at 7 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, so get to it. Tomorrow night, we reveal the last five finalists, and Acro Army and Little Mix will be here tearing up the stage. That's at 8, 7 Central. I'm at Nick Cannon. Good night, America. Thank you very much, Janine. Great to be back here. This is Sam's grandpa, Albert. Albert, say hello. Albert, say hello. Sorry, he's very deaf. Have you got your hearing aid on, Albert? Is your hearing aid switched on? Is your hearing aid on? Have you switched your hearing aid on? Is your hearing aid on? Is your hearing aid switched on? Yes. Great. What? <laughs> Let me have a look. What's the oh, hang on. What's this? Albert, what is that? That was in your ear. What is it? No, what is it? Looks to me to be a suppository. A suppository? Oh, no, at least now I know where my hearing aids got to. <laughs> Do you know, I wondered why my duck was whistling earlier. Albert, what are you doing? Just turning it down. Stop it. It feels good. Stop it. Where are we? Sam, uh, Albert. Yes, it's Albert, you idiot. Yes, it's Albert. <laughs> We're at Radio City. Radio City, who are they? They are the judges. Oh, I like her. Who's that? Hello? That's Heidi. Oh, I like her. Albert, don't be ridiculous. Hi. You're 85 years old. Ah, oh, yes, then I can give her something you younger than can't. And what's that? A good night's sleep. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry. I hope he wasn't a nuisance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, would you take Albert? I think he needs his medication. Oh, I like you. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you all right? <laughs> song and sing song. Haven't got time for a song. Sing song. Okay. All right. All right. If I sing you a quick lullaby, you promise me you go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> go to sleep, my baby. My baby, my baby. Pathetic. <laughs> Would you please ignore him and welcome back my friend and hopefully yours. Yes, it's Sam. Sam, I thought tonight would be a lovely idea if we did this little trick. Just uh, watch me. Hmm? Watch me. Okay, tonight, this is where the ventriloquist swaps voices with the puppet. A very difficult, dangerous trick for a ventriloquist to attempt. Vocally, very challenging, and generally, pretty tricky. You can really feel the tension. Okay, for this to work, you've just got to do anything. You've just got to keep talking. You could do the ABC. Oh, yes, I could, yes. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, yes! If this was Sesame Street! <laughs> you dummy! You speak for yourself. I wish I could. Just do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Wow. It's weird. Yeah. Normally they applaud there. Not tonight. No, obviously. <laughs> no, no, it's too late now. No, no. It's too late. Stop it. Shall I swap them back? Yes. Pardon? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quit. Shh. I've got it. Good. Now what? Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, poo. Where's my voice? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. Help me, please. Somebody help me. I'm down here. Please. Somebody help me, please. Help me, please. <laughs> 
you're talking out your... Ah, oh, Zerdin, Zerdin, there you are. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all I get? 30 seconds in your little puppet show? Shh, you'll wake the baby. I don't care. Shh. <laughs> now look what you've done. Shh. Are you shushing me? No. He's shushing the baby. I'm not shushing the baby. I'm shushing you. Don't you shush me. I will shush you. Uh, me? No. Uh, yes, shush. In, in fact, all of you, why don't you just shush? Hang on. Why don't you shush? Yes. Why don't you shush? Hang on a minute. Why should I shush? Because you're the one doing all our voices. Yeah. 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 Yeah? Well, in which case, good night. Thank you very much indeed. So, Sam, we are finally here. It is results night. Yeah, lots of good-looking people here tonight. A lot of good-looking people here tonight. And some ugly people here. What look? What you? What you are ugly. You what? You're nasty-looking. Don't tell me I'm ugly. Why didn't you know? I think you should say you're sorry. Mm, say you're sorry. What? Say you're sorry. I'm sorry you're ugly. <laughs> now, hey, well, I love this place. Look at it, it's enormous. Hello, 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 <laughs> Oi, you're making me look stupid. Yeah, like you need help. Don't ruin our chances of winning this. Yeah, right. Like a dummy could ever win this show. Funny you should mention that. Would you please welcome winner of season two? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Terry Fater. <laughs> Paul, I got to tell you, I am a huge fan. Paul and fan. Oh, this is uh, uh, Elvis impersonator Maynard Tompkins. Paul and fan. I got to say, we are big fans of yours. Oh, we are huge fans. You are the master. So, uh, how is your uh, ventriloquist Maynard? Wait, he's a ventriloquist? I just thought he was a really bad proctologist. How's your ventriloquist working out for you, Sam? Oh, he's okay. I suppose it's okay because he does at least wear a glove. <laughs> so, uh, Maynard, do you, uh, you gonna do us some Elvis? Well, he's an Elvis impersonator. Uh, do, you, do you know any Elvis songs? No, I don't. Wait, Sam, Sam, do you know any Elvis songs? Mm, mm, mm. Wait, I got an idea. Hello, Mr. Ventriloquist. Yeah? Do you think you could sing like Elvis without moving your lips? Yes. Then do it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you know, that's going to look weird. No, it won't look weird at all, because while you're doing that, I'll do this. I'll go like this. I'll go. <laughs> so you're going to lip sync? Yep, I'm going to be just like Britney Spears. OK, wait, that's. <laughs> I, um, wait a minute. So I sing, you move your lips. Do you think that'll work? Oh, yeah, Terry, I've been watching the judges. They won't know the difference. OK. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. Good job, dear. You sound really good. <laughs> you have made my life complete, and I love you so. <laughs> love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill. Sam, you gotta try it. It's really fun. Oh, my darling, I love you, and I always will. Wow. Hey, you know what, Terry? You might have a career ahead of you. <laughs> I Good think night. You, too, you might have a career, too, Sam and Paul. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> Keep it going for them.